Just do all that over here. I'm so bored. Yeah, whatever. It's just gonna be like a real chill night. It's just you and me, so just do all that over here. Okay, just hurry. Just come on in. The door's unlocked. Okay, I'm in my room. Alright, see you in a little bit. Bye. Hi! Oh my gosh, finally! It took you forever to get here. How are you? Take a seat, take a seat. Okay, so how was your day? What have you been up to? Yeah? Mm hmm. Dude, you are always involved in some sort of drama. I don't get how you keep up with that. I mean, I'm glad that you do because I like hearing it, but I don't like being involved in it. So, I get to live vicariously through you just a little Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we'll just stay right there. Are you okay if I like play with your hair? Because I just been wanting to practice some um, hairstyles and it's really hard to do it on myself. Yay! Thank you so much. Okay, so just like tell me about your day. I'm gonna start by brushing your hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm using a comb to brush your hair. Is that okay with you? Damn, you're kind of sassy today. Like, usually you're pretty timely, but you came over hella late after, even after I called you, you said you were on the way, and then you didn't show up, and I even waited extra, like, I'm just sitting here waiting for you, and I feel like I should just be sitting here waiting for you. Like, I think it's kind of rude that you just, like, left me like that. I don't get what's up. Are you good? Usually you're not like that. Okay. Okay, well, maybe you just need to relax a little bit. Okay, it's not taking that all out on me. I'm just saying. Um, and just relax. Let me do your hair a little bit. Okay. Okay. I've been wanting to try out these new butterfly clips I just got. Aren't they so cute? Aren't they so cute? I only have four of them. Two blues and two What do you mean we're too old for butterfly clips? You can't be too old for butterfly clips. That's just not a thing. I think I'm gonna try to do some some braids here and there and here and just do like maybe one, two, three braids, like one on the side, two on the side, and then decorate the braids with the butterfly clips. Okay, so let me braid your hair first. So I'm just gonna take this piece here. I braid a little bit fast. But my hands always cramp when I'm, when I'm braiding. So, all the girls are always getting their whole head braided. You see those videos of girls? There's usually like two or three women uh, braiding their hair. And they're just braiding so fast. Okay. One braid, it looks really good. So now let's do this one. Mm -hmm. go, cut the hair. Cut the hair out of there. Let's split it into two. But yeah, those videos of those women that are always braiding someone's whole head. And they're just like braiding so freaking fast. And usually the braids are so long. My hands are already cramping. This is my second braid. This was like not really doing a whole lot today and I always like to hang out with you because I feel like we can just have like a nice chill time 
just hanging out, listening to music, magazines, like, we don't really have to do a whole lot of anything, you know? And I like that because sometimes you can't do that with people. Yeah. Mm hmm There we go. Cute. Your little braid. like the time. Okay, so I think on this braid I'm just gonna put it right there. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Um, I'm just gonna start on this braid here now. Put this one like here at the bottom. Okay. And this one, maybe like in the middle on this braid. And then I'll put a second one on this first braid. That is so cute. Yeah, I just like these clips so much. They look really cute in your hair on the braids. It's almost like little butterfly kisses, but on your braids. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hmm. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I know. You just have like a lot of these like stray little hairs in your face, so I'm just trying to get them out. Sorry, I didn't mean to just start wiping your face, my bad. Yeah, I know you don't normally care, but still, I obviously freaked you out. My, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, okay. That's so cute. So I was gonna do a couple hairstyles, but I actually Maybe I'll just work around this because I really think it's cute. Oh, I was going to show you these new hairpins I got because they're crazy. They are swords. They're Wonder Woman swords. And they're chopsticks for your hair. So maybe I can do like a half up, half down situation and like leave the three braids down. Does that make sense? Cause you have like your braids are like right here and two on this side so i feel like it'd be kind of cute if they were like left forward and then the rest of your hair is up and then you have these in it i will say these are kind of heavy so we probably have the bobby pin you don't like bobby pin you feel like they rip your hair i mean i guess they kind of do that's okay we don't have to do that i was gonna show you I was reading through these magazines while you were taking your sweet time and there was like a little quip in here um, about making money and I knew that you were worried about making some money so I wanted to read this article also look at this we got a bunch of barbed wire trading cards and they're just so cute they're like perforated so I used it to bookmark this because I was like oh girl they're gonna want to know these money tips or as the magazine says kick butt work tips from the money honey okay so step one is oh i guess this is like working tips but i think you could use those too right so step one is know that even a lousy job can give you a great experience i mean i feel like you can I feel like you have good times at work even if you're not like having the best time you're just there trying to make your money isn't that what we're all trying to do to learn everything you can um from the stories you tell me it kind of seems like you are kind of lazy so maybe you should learn some more stuff three is turn your free time into job training it kind of contradicts what I just said, but I don't know if all of your free time... Does this mean your free time outside of work? No, honey. If you're not on the clock, you should not be working. A lot of jobs are going to tell you otherwise, but you should not be working if you are not on the clock. Our lives are way too precious to be wasting all of our free time just working, working, working. I already work 
40 hours a week. I don't need to work any more than that, right? Yeah. Okay, let's take these. Actually, I do want to take these clips out because I really just want, I keep envisioning that. Um, I keep envisioning that little thing on you, so I'm just going to take this clip. Oh. I'm just gonna take this clip off. And I'm gonna take this clip off. And this one. And this one. And then I'll just pull the little upper bands off. <coughs> It don't look really cute on you though. I know it's gonna look cute on me, but you should you should think about doing stuff to your hair like that sometimes. I know it's not your style, but it just looks so good on you. I always hate that when something looks so good on someone and it's just not them. I mean I guess I don't hate that, obviously it's not your thing, but it just look it does look really good on you. So I just hope you know that if you wanted to ever do something like that. You definitely should. Okay. So, let's start with splitting your hair. Okay. You can use my band to you okay and you need to put your hair in like a half up ponytail I'll wrap it and put it in a bun but it's just hard to reach around your big ass head because it's kind of big so um, I can't reach the back of it <laughs> yeah perfect and then like wrap it into a little bun I know I'm doing your hair and now you're doing it but you're just helping me out. I'm still doing your hair. I'm instructing you to, like, how to do it, so. Okay, then just turn around. Can you just turn around for a second? I'll do it. That looks so cute. The little swords just stick up just enough to be to make you question, like, what is that? And it's swords, it's so cute. So let's just like take down some of your flyaways a little bit. See, this is where flyaways are good because you can kind of use them. Sorry, uh. I was just trying to like smooth them down a little bit. I didn't have any gel or anything. <laughs> it's fine, I'm already almost done. Oh! <laughs> this hairstyle looks so cute on you. And now it has like most of your hair out of your face. So, that's good. So, that looks so cute on you. I actually really like that. So, I am kind of bored of doing your hair now. Um, so I just think that we should just leave this one in. But, do you want to play a game? Let's play MASH. 
You haven't played MASH in a long time? Oh my gosh, yes, we definitely should then. Okay, so let me, like, make the little thing. I'll tell you when to... Oh, uh, yeah. Spouse. Okay, we have a number of kids. Yeah, city. Um, a car. And, oh, a job. Mm hmm. Because we know we'll be struggling with that, don't we? Okay, and then we'll figure out what your lucky number is. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to start drawing the swirl. Just tell me when to stop, okay? Okay. Seven. Ooh, lucky number seven. Okay, so start with spouse. Give me four. Uh, to be spouses, okay. Okay. Oh. SpongeBob. Okay. Normally, it's supposed to be like real people, right? Um, and you just did all SpongeBob characters, <laughs> but that's okay. Number of kids. Mhm. Mm okay. Oh, it's a big. It's a big number. Okay, draw. Give me some cities. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Damn, these are all uh, like out there. <laughs> That's a state, a city. Your game, we can do a state, that's fine. Car. Okay. Mm hmm. These are just modes of transportation that you're listing, like, they're not cars. Okay. Like I said, uh, your game. Your game job mm -hmm. oh that's a good one I can see you doing that mm -hmm. your game darling I keep saying that but you keep saying shit like that so okay alrighty we got all figured out so let's do your lucky number now okay one two three four five six seven hmm? one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven Wow. Okay, so the good news is you're gonna live in a mansion. Ooh. Um, but your husband is Squidward. And you have 32 kids. I'm not gonna lie, there's gonna be some really ugly babies. Yeah. Okay, but you're gonna live in Texas. Like I said, not a city. Um 
So I guess you just live in Texas, right? And your car is a bike. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work with 32 kids, but you'll make it work because you're a carpenter. So, hmm. What an interesting life you lead. Yeah. But somehow, hmm. I could see it all working out. I bet you can afford the mansion because you ride the bike. Right? That would make sense. I, I think so anyways. Yeah, that was fun. I thought so. I love playing match. It's definitely been a while. But I had a lot of fun playing it anyways. I know. I know I said I would do your makeup. But it's like really late. And you took your sweet time coming over here. So I think we should just, like, kick back and watch a movie now. You want to watch a movie? And get some popcorn and we can just chill. Let's do it. Okay, well. I'm going to go do my night to, my nighttime routine really quick. So I can just be comfy and cozy. So, um, you just go relax, get into your jammies, and then we'll just enjoy, enjoy a nice little me do your hair and play mash with me and all that so. thank you for playing mash with me and letting me do your hair and everything so i'm gonna go like i said do my nighttime routine and then we can hang out so goodbye for now Bye. Uh-huh.